Welcome back to Health Topic, and in today's video, face mask alternatives to protect your respiratory and immune system from airborne threats. As the pandemic intensifies, you might be asking, is there any trick I can do to protect myself from airborne threats? First off, the threat nowadays is not so great news. Second, face mask demand is indicating that shortage of supply is a nightmare. So what do you need to look into as effective preventive alternatives? Yes, you heard it right. You definitely need an alternative to protect your respiratory and immune systems from airborne threats. You can catch respiratory illness simply by breathing. Someone who is infected can spread by coughing, sneezing and talking where viruses or bacteria take flight on air or land on a surface. Then people are exposed to touch or inhaling the virus. Once you breathe in the airborne threat, they take up residency inside you. Airborne threats move like a wave. It can pass through from one individual to another invisibly. It can be of high risk to older people with underlying conditions than healthy younger ones, leaving deep scars with a devastating social, economic and political crisis. The airborne threat is soaring high based on the World Health Organization. As one epidemic is about to end, like Ebola, another one emerges and more complex affecting countries. Once contracted, you can be symptomatic or asymptomatic which is really dangerous. The healthcare system is painstakingly battling but exhausted with limited personal protective equipment like face masks and healthcare workers are risking their lives and sadly dying. People are in fear and with uncertainty. Since you cannot see it with your bare eyes, you have no option but to be cautious and the best way is preventing it from getting it into you. So you might be wondering what you can do. In fact, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and a balanced diet gives you an edge against airborne threats. Keep in mind also that despite the internet claims, there is no single pill that can guarantee you to prevent yourself from getting sick. So what now? Here is some uplifting news for you, there are several ways to keep your immune system at its optimum functionality in the most uncertain time. Including these 5 practical lifestyle easy to do habits and essential diet balances. Let's begin. How does airborne threats like a pandemic affect us? We are only human, and the grim, awful, and unwelcoming doers of sickness and death are a contrasting start on the battle for health and well-being. Please be respectful and support those who identify with the following ill news. Economic evils by current COVID-19 pandemic in its fourth month has already spread to 210 countries affecting everyone in one way or another by loss of jobs and income, locations on lockdown, markets falling, and beliefs of economies going into recession. Even more awful are the health impacts caused to the body. The potential damage caused to the lungs can result in respiratory failure and pneumonia from accumulation of dead cells, bacteria, debris, fluids, and inflammation with increasing lung damage potentially permanent to more severe case victims even after recovery and discharge. Independently of the currently 2.6 million confirmed cases around the world and more than 185,000 confirmed deaths as of late April 2020 only five months after the virus discovery, then there is the mental state of everyone especially the closest to the virus. Not only do family members and friends feel hopeless even heartbroken when a loved one is confirmed ill in any level, but now even the most trained professionals are breaking down both physically and mentally, like all frontline first responders and healthcare workers battling for us both, who only wishes for this evil to end and everyone to be healthy and safe once again. There is hope however, people are looking after one another more, and the proactive efforts of communities are doing their part to help with the slowdown of the virus. Celebrities and public figures are adding their support to self-quarantine, family and friends deep in their love and value for one another. Meanwhile, the race to create a vaccine has started its beginning trials of testing with the CDC as one of the forefront leaders, and others are also joining and working hard and diligent. Our efforts and patience are going to pay off. It starts with you making a choice, and with that choice a community will follow. Before we begin, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friend. We care about supporting the well-being of every individual. And if you'd like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, welcome back to the Health Topic team. Now, let's begin. Get hooked to a healthy lifestyle with these five easy and practical steps. 1. Safeguard your health through good hygiene, prevents the spread of disease and making the environment clean and safe. Remember, bacteria is everywhere. It can be good or bad, and we are getting rid of the bad for our health bacteria starting with our hands as it's the first physical point of touch contamination. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap for not less than 20 seconds. Rub it together by focusing on the palm, back of hands, between fingers, fingertips, nails, and wrist. Rinse your hands under a tap then wipe off with a towel or hand dry. You can sing a happy birthday song, even if it's not your birthday yet. 
washing hands properly can prevent the spread of respiratory disease. Another great option is to use hand sanitizer with more than 60% alcohol in the absence of soap and water to clean your hands. This will reduce the number of microorganisms present in your hands but this does not mean completely eliminating all microbes. It also requires less time than hand washing. Remember to always bring a hand sanitizer whenever you are outside. The first two hygiene practices also need a precaution of not touching your face with your hands constantly, especially when you are outside the house. During our COVID-19 high contagion pandemic, be wise to practice social isolation to avoid spreading especially to high-risk individuals. Refrain going outside often, limit travels, cancel events or any form of gatherings including concerts and school events. 2. Quit smoking especially in times like this because you will severely suffer. According to the Harvard Medical School blog, there is no healthy amount of smoking. To be healthy is to never smoke. Also, smoking is a predecessor to respiratory illness. 3. Maintain a healthy body weight. It is very important to achieve optimum health. Normal body mass index is between 18.5 to 24.9 kilograms per square meter. Overweight and obese people are at high risk of developing non-communicable diseases such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, and so on. 4. Alcohol, drink moderately. Moderate alcohol intake means having not more than one drink for women which is between 5 and 15 mg per day, and two drinks for men which is between 5 and 30 mg of alcohol content per day. 5. Hit the sack early or simply saying go to bed on time and have adequate sleep. Remember sleep is a necessity like eating, drinking, sex, etc. that boost real good your immune system. A night of good sleep does nothing but only these, have a sharper brain, improves concentration, problem-solving skills and productivity, have a healthier heart, sleeping less than 7 to 8 hours per night has a higher risk of developing heart disease and stroke, boost your good mood, feeling good is the best thing as you wake up and a quality sleep also improves immune function. Disrupted sleep is linked to depression which is a no joke as mental health issues since it can lead to death. Sleep also helps you maintain a normal weight. Sleep deprivation leads you to crave more calories and tends for a bigger appetite. People with less sleep have a high risk of being overweight. 6. Be physically active. Getting the right amount of physical activity like exercise can beat a sedentary lifestyle, constant sitting and lying down. Did you know that sitting is the new smoking? So don't sit yourself to death, stay active. Previously you have known the benefits of good sleep, but did you know that being physically active can do the same, it reduces your risk of anxiety, depression and makes you sleep better. It also helps with your thinking and judging skills as you age. Your physical activity is an integral part of weight management and study shows that in order to maintain weight loss is to engage in regular physical activity. Remember your diet and physical activity go hand in hand, and make weight loss more successful. Did you know it is suggested that diet has a strong effect on weight loss while physical activity has stronger effects to prevent weight regain after weight loss? Now that's what I call a tandem. Now that we are halfway through the video, I'd like to take a short break and say thanks for letting us be a part of your day. Before we continue with the rest of the video drop a comment below at any point, and if you subscribe, you are a part of the Health Topic team. Remember to support one another through the comment section. Like and subscribe, you are the best. Now let's get hitched with these three essential well-balanced diets that matter. Always remember that proper nutrition and staying hydrated is vital. First, eat a variety of fresh foods and avoid processed foods daily. Key to this is to follow the food plate proportion, 10% fruits, 40% vegetables, 30% grains, and 20% protein. There is no single food that gives all the necessary nutrients your body needs that's why you need to eat diverse food groups. Consume whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, meats, eggs, fish, and milk. Limit eating foods high in fat, salt, and sugar. Avoid processed foods since they are high in sodium and preservatives. Eat your vitamins. Vitamins like vitamin B1, B2, B3, and vitamin C. These are vitamins needed by the body in a small amount since they are water-soluble vitamins. Your body cannot store them in big amounts. So remember, the go, bro, and glow foods. Vitamins can be taken from glow foods, vegetables and fruits. Two to three servings of fruit and three to four servings of vegetables are enough for the day for you. Do not overcook vegetables to avoid losing vital vitamins. Remember that vitamins are heat resistant which, if you really want to buy multivitamins, please store at temperatures not exceeding 30 degrees Celsius, cold, and keep them in a dry place to retain the effectivity. Stay hydrated. If ever you forget, drink your water. Water is essential for life. First hand, one should know that every cell, tissue, 
and the organ in the body needs water to work well. It makes up more than half of a person's body weight. A person could die as early as two days without water. Watch out for coffee, those who live by the expression coffee first said by a million coffee lovers but did you know that caffeine is diuretics, making you urinate more frequently, losing more fluid from the body. However, worry less, two to four cups of coffee a day does not harm you. Consume fruits and vegetables, many tasty fruits and vegetables contain high water content like watermelon, cucumber, and tomatoes. Just an add-on if you have respiratory conditions, you can opt for a high-fat, low-carb diet. If none, you can stick to the normal diet. Stay calm, stay at home when you are feeling ill, eat a proper diet and be active. Always remember that your immune system is your utmost responsibility. Stay healthy and stay safe. Now that we wrapped you with preparedness, you are ready to go off and live a healthy lifestyle. No excuses, protect yourself not just by wearing a face mask but by taking advantage of these alternatives to boosting your immune system. Share this video to your family and friends and you will help protect them too. Excited for the next health topic video? Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be the first notified on what's next. We can't wait to see you again.